So I'm arguing that there are more important beliefs and less important beliefs to proclaim um, to live in society. And I would say the fundamental beliefs are that you are not the universe. In fact, you are not the center of the universe. There are things out there, other people, and they are as much worth as you are. I don't know this is a self-evident proposition, but it's certainly something that we teach our children. We make our children line up in lines. We make them t take t turns. And if a child says to us, th th this activity is actually much better for me and I am going to benefit twice as much as the rest of these kids, could I go to twice? The answer is no. Go back to the end of the line, kid. And the other thing we do is we make kids share their own property. And if a ch child says, but, but this is my property, I have mixed my l l labor in it and it belongs to me, we say, well, look, you, you've got to share anyway. If you're not going to share that, I'm taking it up. So we, we and by the way, the, the, those things that we do in kindergarten, there's a book, we, everything I learned, Everything I need to know I learned in kindergarten is not true, of course. In, in high school, you, you, everyone doesn't take a turn to playing on the varsity basketball team. You, you've got to make that, that team. Everyone does not get to take AP classes, though, by the way, AP says yes, everyone gets to take them. Uh, not Certainly not everyone gets to, to go to HSPVA. You have to uh, audition f f for it. Um, but this idea that everything is, we're all of equal worth, I think is super important. And of, of, of course, the, the, uh, the, the phrase we know is that all men are created equal. And so this is, I would say, our foundational myth. And I, I don't mean that it's not true. I just mean this is the belief that we hold to be true. It's self-evident, as it says in the Declaration. All men are created equal and they're endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. Among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And of course, Thomas Jefferson owned slaves, so it's a d difficult thing to think about. Um, uh, and of course it says all, all men are created equal. I, I used to, uh, let's see if I have time to tell you this story. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to break into a story, sorry. So I used to, uh, on parents at night, uh, explain who I was and, and do all the, the parent stuff. And then at the very end, I would project uh, the, those words, right? I would project the words and say that, that I thought this was the thesis of, of America. And yet, if this is the thesis of America, then what do we d d do with evolution if all men are created equal? And then I would say, oh, t t time's up. Ask your kids. And I, I once had a parent go to, to, to the science teacher and say, do you, do you all teach creationism? Catholic schools, don't they? They accept evolution. Um, and that made me happy because I like to mess with people. So, all men are created equal and they're endowed by their creator with certain unusual rights. Well, uh, Abraham Lincoln takes that and, and, and twists it into something beautiful. Four score and seventy years ago, our fathers brought forth on this nation dedicated to the proposition that all men are, are created equal. That's, I think, where the thesis begins. And then Martin Luther King has a, a beautiful speech, the I Have a Dream speech, it does beautiful things to that. So it becomes our scripture. And again, whether it's true or not, I'm not sure, and maybe we should talk about that later, but that's what you have to believe. Well, if that's what you have to believe, what's on the, and, and I just came up with this, I, I didn't put it at the end because there must be something less important, but B Bigfoot is real. I think we can let people believe this. And again, I was tr tr trying to think of something stupid, because by the way, it's, Bigfoot is not, not real. 
But if you want to believe it, unless you're going to sell all your goods and go hunt for Bigfoot and, and, and you know, do something like that, it's a belief I, I think it's okay to have. Uh, next time we will t t check out Brad, let's do a quick... Uh, we have the time, we're just a little bit over. Uh, let's do a, a quick... Um, so this is what Brad says, I b b believe. Brad says he believes that your beliefs about vaccination are m more important than evolution, which is more important th than abortion. That's an interesting uh, thought, and we will perhaps argue about that and then p pick it up later. Thank you.